Good morning, guys. Currently February 15th, snow event 14, and it's 9 a.m. And the snow creeped up on us, let me tell you. We were prepared to dispatch this morning at 7 a.m. So we got up around 4.35, checked the weather. There was only about an inch. So we pushed our dispatch time to now 11 a.m. today. We got Andreas, Eric, Nick, Mitchell, Josh, Danny, the whole team here. And uh, right now we're getting the parking lot all cleaned up. We're making our meeting notes for this dispatch that we're gonna be sharing with everybody. Just before we dispatch, we always like to have our uh, safety meetings and explain, you know, what's going on with the conditions, things that we need to watch out for, you know, just how to improve our quality as a business and be safer out on the road. But we always make sure we have those team meetings before dispatching. That's it, guys, we're gonna crank full driveways today we're doing gravel and we're doing our hard tops of course so every single northern snow driveway in the city is going to be completed today and boy oh boy does it ever feel good to see winter again my god i was getting worried we were in spring all throughout january plus six seven degree weather all our snow melted and like it finally feels like winter again and i'm glad i'm gonna enjoy this next month month and a half i hope it snows a lot it looks like my dreams and wishes did come true because here we are we got a healthy 10 centimeters on the ground and i I'm excited to get tons of great footage for you. I'm not gonna make any promises because sometimes I do and then I break them, sorry. But I'm gonna try my best to get drone footage today and not crash the drone as I usually do. I'm gonna make sure I get some footage outside of the cab with my new gimbal that I'm using right now. It's a DJI, absolutely love it. And then uh, I'm gonna try to get some in the cab footage as well. I'm gonna try. I don't want to promise. So guys, stay tuned. I got a gut feeling this is going to be a hell of a snow event. And I'm just so, so, so excited right now. Stay tuned. We'll catch you guys soon. The girls are sleeping right now, but not for long. I'm going to start the tractors up here in both the next 10, 15 <laughs> minutes. Going to go see what this crazy mother doing over here. Eric, what happened? Why you guys been over here? I'm trying to get a shot out of the, of the blower like, yeah, yeah. in slow motion. Like, I love so it. So Matt's gonna have some background videos. Yeah, yeah. Right? Always look sick. Always about the videos. Andre, que pas? What do you do? Cause damage? No, just uh, the pin broke. Oh, uh, really? Bad. Little, little pro broken pin, broken dreams, eh? Yeah. It's the way she goes. Huh? It's the way she goes, Andre. Oh, yeah. There we go. She's. She's all on clock now, eh, Andre? Oh, yeah. I'm happy. You're happy? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Good. Joel, I called you. How's your trip? Wow. Beautiful. You never seen a guy buy a $2,000 box of cigars? No, I was like, oh, it is crazy. Probably end up smoking them. Me and Nick just put the box. Yeah. Yeah, today, today is some good snow, so it would be good to see the video. Yeah. A very nice way to come back. Yeah, yeah, honestly, though. She brought it with her. What? The weather. Yeah. Snow, like, cool. yeah, when you watch the video on uh, on YouTube, probably posted a couple weeks, Isaiah went up there and got it. Flew it right out of there, though. He, he went up there with a the battery, popped it in, flew it right out. Yeah, oh yeah, I got it all. Thank you so much for this. That's as real deal as it gets. It's not the big Maddie, just the, just the gunners. I just got a nice little special gift here from one of our employees, uh, Shania. She's one of our only girl operators. I've actually known her for quite a while, not really on a personal level at all, but uh, she used to live down the road from me and uh, she's a super sweet girl. She's dating one of my good friends, uh, Joe Bruni, and she was down in Cuba and I was like, man, you gotta go to the duty free at the airport and please, please pick me up a box of cigars. Well, she did not shy away, got a box of of Cohiba Siglo number fours and boy oh boy let me tell you these were not cheap uh, you're looking at about $1950 Canadian or about $1400 USD. Regardless, these are very, very special cigars. I don't know if any of you would know that are watching, but I've recently started smoking cigars last year, uh, maybe almost two years ago, but heavily last year, a couple times a week if I could. And it's been one of my favorite things ever to do, something I really enjoy and look forward to, especially during the summer. So this is a big treat right here and definitely quite the investment. So I'm gonna enjoy these, that's for sure. Thank you so much, Shania. Right from Habana, Cuba. I was gonna leave it in the wrapper until I got in the humidor, but you know what, I'm, I'm way too excited. Eric, open it up. 
to show you guys how real yeah. deal these are. But there you have it. Right in the box. Wow, that is that is so gorgeous. Cohiba, Habana, Cuba. It's got the stamp. It's got the other stamp. Yeah, sealed. Where does it say signal number four? You see signal number four anywhere? Boom, 25 signal number four. You're looking at $75 USD a stick or about $105 Canadian roughly if you were to buy them individually. We got a little bit of a better deal because they were purchased at the duty free in Cuba. But if you're looking to buy these cigars in Canada, you're about 110 per cigar or about $75, $80 American. And it says that this pro can be uh, bad for health and also that it, it can create addiction. So <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> well, we, all, we all have our little fix we like to enjoy. <laughs> Super, super, super stoked about that though. That's, we're gonna tuck that away. Bring that home later. Show the kids. Oh, you wanna see the, the receipt? The receipt. Oh no. Yeah. You know what, we all have our things though. Some people like to buy guns. Some people like to fish. Some people like to hunt. You know what I like to do? I like to do business. I like to smoke cigars and I like to eat good food. That's all I like to do. I don't really want much more in life. How about you, Eric? Come on. Fishing. There you go. I spent like two thousand uh, dollars in fishing gear that I'm taking to my uh, country uh, in my vacations on See? March twenty second. I'm gonna be in Guatemala. I'm gonna send you guys a video of how my my town. You know is. what? You should bring some gear down there to take some YouTube videos. I will. That'd be sick. I will. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? See, there you guys have it. Some people like to spend their money on fishing. Well, I like to spend mine on cigars and food and tractors. Yeah. Sure? I know it's not really a song right now, but I just I wanted to tell you I, I love you like a brother. Got a lot of guys that came early, eh? Yeah. Boys. Sights. Good. Ready? Good morning, bro. Holy! Look at this gang over here. Coffee, you guys are like in your posse over here. You guys look like you're up to no good, yeah, especially yeah. John over there. He doesn't say too much. John's captain. Uh, uh, you know, if you don't say anything, that's when you can hide it. Oh. <laughs> your center attention. That'll be a fun little shift today. Finally get to blow some snow, eh? Well, at least there's actual snow to blow. Are we doing uh, gravel? Yeah. Just be careful, you know? Not full pressure. You'll know. Drag it out. Let it pack while you drag it. How was all the stuff you guys got? Everything was good? Good. Everything's good? Good, good, good. Just making sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got some good picks, Andre? Yeah. Let's see the camera. Well, looks like we got quite a bit of boys here. Palombo, put it here, bro. Ready good to, to go, see you, baby. man. Always ready to go. Dude, I heard they call you Nate Toretto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got both. Yeah, yeah. It was scary. It's okay. I got lucky though, guys. Now you know, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, you don't want your insurance to go up. Trust what me, else? I had it happen to me. <laughs> he's, he's over here. <laughs> I was like, you don't want your insurance to go up. You know, you get pulled over when you're younger and shit. Yeah. Oh, see. Oh, he's lucky. <laughs> oh, we got the cool boys and girls here right now. Got a here. Here, you got a funny video today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. You what you got going it. on here? There's a grass, pa grass patch in the front oh, that I yeah. don't touch. Yeah, it's, it's That's not a fun, fun driveway. Game. It's a big one. Where's Waldo with that one? You basically. <laughs> Dude, those are your favorite. Enjoy, brother. Enjoy. Soft and chewy mix, eh? I have to. I have to. <laughs> You're starving. You could add one of my factors. No. I'm <laughs> Oh, what kind of drone you got? I'm gonna get one of them. DJI Mini 4 it, it Pro. Follows, I want something that it, just follows me. Yeah, it follows. It yeah. follows me. Got shields beside me here. What's going on? Known this mother since I was like what, 12 years old? Uh, well, no, since like fucking grade three. He uh, he niblets class. Yep, yep, grade three, Miss niblets class. Now, now we're having flashback. Oh, he periodically makes it in for a shift, but you know what? He's here today, which I'm very grateful for. And when I need any sort of tree work done, this is the guy we call. And when you need to save drones as well, right? Yep. That'll be on. That'll be on Snow Event 13. This is Snow Event 14, guys. For everyone who's watching, make sure you go check out my last video, Snow Event 13, to watch Isaiah save one of our drones from like a tree that was like 100 feet in the air so it's a pretty awesome video yeah, yeah. i got to see that video it's gonna be good tracks are going very fast and one split second and all of a sudden there's a door all over the place <laughs> second you see this 
the other tractor following up, following, <coughs> ah, following him. Well, he's going quite fast as well. Luckily, he's paying attention, so he stopped. But if he didn't stop, well, that was forward. Yeah, yeah, he would have. Me and Mike. So, <laughs> for starters, taking down a notch in the parking lot. There's a lot of equipment out there. People walking back and forth. If you don't take down a notch, someone gets hit. Well, that's gonna be a lot bigger issue than just a door. I get everyone wants to go home, but a few more seconds and you'll be home anyway. <laughs> There's no way you don't notice you did that. You, you hit it, you stopped. Just report it, simple as that. That one wasn't even a big deal. Literally a block moved, I just went and moved it. But just reporting things like that, the customers really appreciate it, so. I just want to touch on that really quick. If you ever slam your blower like that, let us know, and it's a very quick fix, but we just need to be aware of it. Simple as that. At 2 a.m., these are your driveway if you wouldn't like it, right? Customers don't like it either. Yeah. So, just, if this happens, you don't know how to fix it. Some guys already know how to fix it, so, so guys don't. Yeah, call like, no problem, man. Awesome. Okay, we got tractors leaving their yard, left, right, and center. The John Deere 6110M with the Norman Hybrid on the back. And boy, oh boy, does it feel good to have some snow outside right now. I'm loving this. Check this out, right behind me here. Woo! My God. Having fun out here, guys, having fun. Got about a good, healthy 10 to 15 centimeters on the ground. We are up a little bit north of the city, so we have a little bit more up here typically, but I'm thinking we have a strong 10 to 15 centimeters across the city, depending where you're at. This is gonna be a hell of a snow event. We got Andreas flying the drone right now. Tons of videos for the beginning of this dispatch. And uh, I'm gonna just keep getting content for you guys. I really want you to enjoy this episode. I feel like it's gonna be a special one, so. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? We're gonna hammer it in um, five hours. Five hours? there is traffic in there. Wow, wow. Where's it right now? Where's Nate Toretto, Nikki? We're taking them down to East 2, getting shit done. Oh, man. Yeah, we're taking them down to East 2, we're getting shit done today. Hammering, hammering hard. I'm in Tractor 5, brand new. 6110N, can't complain about that. No. Right up your alley. Shane Premium and aim for Nikki. Nate Toretto! My brother! Okay, y'all listen, Nate Tourette's, all your boys are gonna be watching this after, so you gotta fucking perform today. Oh, I will. You gotta perform. Lucas couldn't make it in. Anyhow, guys, I'm gonna go throw up the drone on a little bit of uh, the outskirts of the city. I'm thinking maybe Palomino, if I have some time, go take some shots of the Kubota M5 111. And it's still snowing like crazy out here. We're having a hell of a time. Andre, que paso? 
I'm with Andreas here. We're driving around in the GMC 2500. We got the drone on board. We got the GoPro on board. Got my iPhone here with the gimbal. We're getting some content, baby. For all you people watching, I hope you're enjoying. We're just in the pee patch right now, central part of the city. We're out here filming Elijah. We got Andreas right beside me here. He's on the drone. <laughs> we are a boat. 35% complete across the entire city between all the routes. Some guys are at 40 to 50%, some even at 60. And then other guys are at like 10, 20. You know, some of the newer, not so experienced individuals. It is about 1.30 p.m. right now. I'm thinking we're gonna have this show wrapped up by about 5 p.m. I'm talking a little bit prematurely here because who knows how the cookie's gonna crumble, but uh, I'm thinking 5 p.m., 6 p.m. latest. So you guys will have to check up with me at the end of this video to see what time we finish our full pass at. But you know what? We've been off to a great start. Nothing major has happened. Everything's been going pretty smooth. Just obviously a lot of clogging because we have a solid 15 centimeters of snow here we're working with and it is thick, thick, thick snow very heavy very wet we're having a little bit of issues with that a couple you know pto pins pop in they're regular right so it ain't that nice fluffy stuff it's, it's quite thick but it is what it is it's been a successful snow event thus far so keep updating keep taking some great footage for you guys and we'll see how this cookie crumbles <laughs> I thought I'd get this on footage for all you guys. I just wanted to show you how many people are parked to go out and operate. We're missing a truck there that just left. Check that out. We gotta start telling the employees to carpool because like this is crazy how many vehicles are here. There's a couple of the work trucks, office staff. But yeah, just thought I'd show you guys. It's a good solid like 25 plus vehicles out here. Anyhow, I'm heading out to the outer part of the city right now to go get some more content, take some pictures and uh, enjoy this beautiful mild afternoon. The weather is gorgeous right now. Sun's peeking out. I'm gonna go have a little bit of fun and hopefully we'll have the show wrapped up in the next two hours, two and a half hours, I'm hoping. Currently 3.07 p.m. Boom! Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Well guys, I spoke a little too soon. It's a complete whiteout now. Check that out. Show you outside the truck right now. It's a complete whiteout. I could barely even see down the street after that van moves. You can't even, you can't even see a hundred meters away right now. It's crazy. So currently right now, it is snowing like a sunshine. Didn't last for too long. We'll definitely be making uh, the 2 a.m. pass. Let me tell you. Uh, followed up by a second pass tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. to touch up where cars were parked, etc. A lot of subdivisions have not been touched yet by the city whatsoever. So there's going to be some monstrous banks at the end of customers' driveways tonight for sure. So we're going to get this uh, first pass all done. Um, it's 4.03 p.m. right now. I'm still banking on uh, five, between five and six, I'm hoping. My dispatch manager, Mitchell, saying seven. I'm gonna say six, latest. So we'll see who's right. But yeah, it's quite dangerous out right now. You can't really see too far in front of you. It is snowing like crazy. And uh, we got a big, big storm over us right now. It looks like we'll be uh, we'll be battling all day tomorrow. That's for sure. But you know what? So we signed up for. 
That's what makes it exciting. That's what makes it fun. We've had a good break here for the last month and I was praying on this, honestly. Like I truly was praying on this and it is so good to see a nice healthy snowfall finally. This is what Sioux St. Marie's used to right here. We get about a dozen of these a year and like it ain't 15 cm anymore. We're looking at 20 plus centimeters now in most driveways with uh, some banks at the end of customers' driveways, three feet plus, you know, depending on where you are in town and how tight your subdivision is, corner, etc. If you're on a corner lot or wherever your house may be. But anyhow, I'm gonna go uh, help a few people out on the road, maybe get some more content. I'm pretty contented out. That's even a word, but I've shot quite a bit of stuff today. So can't put the drone in the air. It's way, way too rough outside right now. Very windy, lots of snow, can't see far all so we're gonna hang tight we're gonna wrap this show up i think i'm gonna buy some pizzas for the boys uh just because it's almost dinner time here in the next couple hours so i'm gonna cop some pizza for the boys and uh that's it we'll put a wrap on snow event 14 see you guys tomorrow for snow event 15 and uh hold on to the very end we ain't done yet I can't even see two feet in front of me. There's cars behind me and stuff, and it's just a hazard. I can't get too much footage right now. Sorry, guys. Heading back to shop for sure. Look at this snow, guys. Check that out. Look how look how quick that's falling. Come on. Woo! Look at that. That's a white out. Well. Now it is clear again. A little bit of sun poking up out there and uh, it's not a whiteout anymore. Hey guys, it's currently 5 p.m. right now and I'm heading to go get a little bit of drone footage. There's gonna be a montage of tractors rolling up on a route not too far away from the shop here. Um, they know about a good four machines are gonna be on this route. So I'm gonna fly the drone up in the air, get this last little bit of a montage for you and then uh, gonna head back to the shop and. We're gonna have this show wrapped up by 5.30, I'm thinking. And for Mitchell, my dispatch manager, who's definitely watching this YouTube video right now, all I gotta say was, I was right. Come on, man. Why are you gonna argue with me? I told you we'd be done before six o'clock. Anyways, guys, throwing the drone up in the air. We'll catch you back at the shop. Hey, Mitch, you know I love you, man. Peace. Guys, we're just about to wrap up this show. And I know I promised you guys I get a montage of drone footage, but it just started blizzarding out of nowhere again and it's a white oak i'm gonna keep the drone safe so i don't crash it for a fifth time and not put it up in the air because it's very windy it's a complete white oak and i can't see much right now so i'm gonna refrain from that i'm gonna head back to the shop because we're like 15 minutes away from having this entire snow event wrapped up completely. anyways guys it's howling behind me here as you can see i'm gonna get the out of here because it's snowing like a honestly this was like in a matter of five minutes oh there's a tractor Woo! alambo he loves it i'm just gonna put you on blast just one minute just oh go ahead because what time is it 5 35 i was right okay, okay. i was right bro. i was right, right. 94 94 94 100 100 100 100 100 93 93 93 100 100 100 100 and then hundreds 
Correct. However, dude, those operators it. aren't gonna be back here till six. But we're gonna be done before six. All rows. Come on, tell all on. rows will be done a little before six. You can hoop it. Big smile. Big smile. Literally a few minutes before six. Oh, uh, we'll be done by like seven, eight o'clock. I said between six and eight. I don't know. Like we're probably long. sleeping this here today. This guy's gonna be taking a and light bar off the van to go trade in. Listen. Like, we'll probably be sleeping here tonight, Steph. I've never said that to Yeah, you. yeah, we'll, we'll be done by Not 8 o'clock. We'll be done by 8 o'clock. between 6 and 8. You know, the air mattresses we got room Like, just fill the, fill the room with air mattresses? <laughs> Crash here. Okay. Yeah, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't looking as good. <sighs> Let's see that one more time. Just got to emphasize that uh, the dispatch what? manager was wrong for once. We got 5% left. 5% left. And there's six people on there. But we're done in five minutes, okay? Shields, put it right here, bro. You carried your team today. You carried my team today. Dude, we are a team. It's not my team. We're a team, bro. That's what team means, bud. I'll see you at 1.45. Dude, you got it, bro. Shields, I'm just Shields. You better be here, man. Oh my God, it's sunny out again? What the f has been going on with this weather? There's the boys! Craig, she was a rough one, eh? Was it good? Yeah. Yeah, you had a good time. Yeah, yeah we all did. We all did. Fired up. <laughs> Woo! That's what it feels like to win the game right there, baby. Got the nice blue skies poking out in the west end of the city here. Sun's back out. It's not storming. Boys are fired up. And everybody's back to the shop. But I like to see. I like to see. Well, that's it guys, 5.45 p.m. We're all wrapped up on snow event 14. And let me tell you, it was an absolute hit. We killed it, honestly, we killed it. I had to get mic'd up just cause it's a little bit windy out here. I'm sure you guys could hear some crisp audio. I got my DJI mic on right here with the gimbal. I've been loving the accessories lately, must I say. Anyhow, we got most attractors back to the shop right now. I'm sure there's about another 10 guys on their way. They're all coming in here slowly one by one. There's one right behind me there. So absolute success today on snow event 14. We crushed it. And you know what? Like hats off to all the guys because it was super, super, super bad conditions out today. It is Thursday, so it's a work day, of course. And the traffic was horrendous. We began the snow event at 11.30 a.m. Everybody was at their first driveway for and we are completely done by like 5.35 p.m. So uh, a nice six hour pass for everyone. And for it being a work day, like I said, and it being a complete whiteout across the city, we did exceptionally well. And boy, oh boy, am I proud of the whole entire team. There's my partner, Nick, right behind me there. He's got a load in the barrel. Come on, Nick. Oh, he's got to bring it way back there to punch it. We'll follow him, we'll follow him, we'll follow him. Come on. Fire in the hole. Let's go, Nikki. Ah, can you guys still see? Probably not. Whatever. We lost them. But I got really no special news for you guys. All I could say was success, success, success. We crushed it. So this was a 20 centimeter snow event, I would say, across the board. Some areas maybe had like 25. We had, you know, drifts up to a foot plus in some areas, well over a foot. And then, of course, tons and tons and tons. There's Nick, loving it. And of course, tons of large plow ridges at the end of uh, customers' driveways. So we're gonna be heading out again tonight because it was snowing throughout the entire snow event for us. So we'll be on snow event 15 tonight. It's almost 6 p.m. We're gonna head home, get some well, well, well-deserved rest. And we're all gonna be back here for 1.30 a.m. Dispatch for two. And we're gonna be doing two full passes tomorrow. One throughout the night, chase all those plows down. And then we're gonna head back out again for 7 a.m. Hit our second pass, notifications set. And we're gonna clean where all those cars are parked, do touch-ups from this big snowstorm. Take it from there. If it snows again tomorrow, well, we'll be out on snow event 16 the next day. Anyhow, guys, this has been a hell of a run. I had tons and tons of fun on snow event 14. I'm so grateful for this entire team, and I'm also really grateful for all you guys watching right now. So if you haven't, please do me a huge favor and mean the world. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell. It would mean the world to me. And guys, I'll catch you on snow event 15 tonight. Peace.
Here's the unboxing. Cohiba Sigma number fours. Real deal, right from Cuba. There's a Spanish cedar on top, I'm pretty sure. Embossed and everything. Real deal certificates. With the Sigma number four stamp right on it. Wow. Check these out. Wow. My God, Nikki. Dude. We've been waiting for this moment our whole lives. Oh man. <laughs> Smoking a lot of cigars and playing a lot of golf this summer, that's for sure. A little bit of blackjack too in the mix, eh? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. That's how you finish an old M14 right there.